What's going on, my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin as well as the altcoins that you request. We're going to take the top five, so we're going to be digging into those after we get into Bitcoin here. What we're going to be doing is looking at Bitcoin on the one-week time frame as well as the altcoins on the one-week time frame so we can really step back, get a big-picture view of what's taking place in this space. So if you guys get some from these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know down below what coins you'd like to cover for the next video, and we'll try the best we can to get them out for you. So guys, when we're taking a look at Bitcoin here, the main thing that we have to pay attention to, we're still in a downtrend. Nothing's changed yet. We have not gotten over top of roughly about $18,500 or so because what we're looking for is that trend change. So far, all we've had is lower highs and lower lows coming in. We're trading below our 50-week moving average as well as our 200-week moving average. And our 200-week moving average is all the way up at $24,500. So even if we got a really nice move here, guys, we went up and challenged that 18000 or so, we still have a lot of overhead resistance and that's something that you have to be aware of here. I still don't think this is the area to be FOMOing into Bitcoin. If you're dollar cost averaging and you're doing a longer term position these are attractive areas but for me right now i still believe this could be a fake out and i'm going to wait for more confirmation guys or a big flush to the downside like i said i have buy orders for bitcoin down in this range at around 95 9800 right in that area because i do believe if we get another flush down you can see this big gap here where we haven't had much buying pressure i believe the next bout of buying pressure would be anywhere from 12,000 down to about that 9500 dollars range is what i'm looking at here so you know guys bitcoin can do anything it can go up ten thousand dollars in a day it can go down ten thousand dollars in a day but when i'm looking at this here i I don't feel as though I want to open a big swing trade position when I'm trading below the 200 week moving average and we have a potential death cross with this 50 week moving average crossing down through the 200. Nothing's confirmed yet. We could bounce off it if we get a nice move, but right now that's something that we have to pay attention to with all this overhead resistance in front of us. So that's going to be Bitcoin, guys. Just be cautious. Be careful in this space. I'm still anticipating one more flush to the downside. May happen, may not happen. But if it doesn't happen, then I will be entering when I see confirmation in the wind at my back on the weekly time frame for Bitcoin. Right now, the trend is still just down. Next one we're going to get into is Litecoin. If you're here for Litecoin, guys, let me know. And we're going to switch to the line graph so we can just really get a good view of this. All right. So for Litecoin, guys, stepping back here. Main area of support I would look at if we get a big flush is going to be about $55 would be a main spot that I'd look at. We're still keeping an eye on this uptrend right here. But guys, the main thing is Bitcoin. And that's what I want to point out. You know, you, Litecoin can be doing great things. It can be making massive moves. But if Bitcoin doesn't go along with the show, it's not really going to go anywhere. And that's the thing. We got to get help from Bitcoin for these altcoins. And right now, the good thing about Litecoin, at least we've broken up above and we are trading up above our 50 week moving average. So that's showing more strength than what Bitcoin was able to show. And then we have this 200 week moving average up above that could act as overhead resistance. And that's going to put you at about $100 there. So overhead resistance, big area would be about $100. But for me right now, guys, I'm still cautiously waiting for one more big push to the down. Side. Like I said, it may happen, may not happen, but for Litecoin, I would look down into that range. Next support would be about $55 if we really get a nice flush to the downside. In terms of our MACD, we are still in the positive there. It's a positive 3.55. VWAP is going to be at a positive 8.72 and money flow is going to be a negative 5.26. So something we're keeping an eye on there in terms of the money flow, just seeing if we can get back into the positive there, start cutting our way back up into the positive. <clears throat> but guys, just keep an eye on Bitcoin. That's going to be the main thing for us and really watch those support areas for Litecoin. So that's Litecoin, guys. The next one we're going to take a look at is ADA. Pull up ADA for us. Right now we're sitting at 31 and a half cents. ADA's had a nice little move here recently, guys. <clears throat> but we could be running into some overhead resistance. Main overhead resistance I'm going to look at is about 35 cents. And that's where we've previously got rejected off a little bit when we had a really nice move. But guys, when we're looking at Cardano ADA here, we are still in this downtrend, clearly. And we've actually had a death cross of our 50 week moving average down through our 200 so doesn't mean that we have to get flushed down into these lower levels guys sometimes you can get these crosses then you bounce back up but it's just something to be cautious of just to be aware of and that would be all the way back up to around 60 cents if we got a nice retest of that range 56 to 60 cents so keep an eye on that but right now guys still just a downtrend lower highs and lower lows have been coming in <clears throat> If we take a look at our MACD, it's pretty much flat. We are slightly to the positive there, 0.01 to the positive. 
Money flow is going to be at a negative 26. VWAP is going to be at a positive 10.64. So that's nice to see there. You can see these three green dots coming in at the bottom here, but still waiting for more confirmation and looking for this money flow to start working its way back up to the upside. They're starting to cut in to the upside, but we want to get it moving the best we can there. <clears throat> Guys, so that's going to be ADA. If you're here for Litecoin, just put LTC down low. If you're here for ADA, put ADA. I want to know who's here for what would really help me out. The next one we're going to take a look at is Matic, and this will be on the weekly time frame as well. All right, let's find one with a good amount of detail for us here, guys. Okay, so Matic, main area we're going to want to hold. This is going to be at about 74 cents. Is going to be the main support area. Overhead resistance we'd have to crack is going to be at about 96 cents, and that's going to be our 50-week moving average there. That's going to be up at about 96 cents, guys. Almost 97 cents is what it's saying up here for me. So we're really in this range between about that 73 and 70 cents. So keep an eye on those ranges. If we do have a downside break, I'd anticipate us retesting 40 cents. I know that seems like a big move to the downside, but that's how quick these things happen, guys. This move to the downside up here was about 78%. So this can always happen. And we could come down here, maybe potentially set a double bottom, but you wanna keep your eye on these things and on this range here as we're bouncing back and forth in there. For me right now, I don't wanna take out any position in altcoins. I wanna see Bitcoin getting its move going, getting itself underway before I trust any of these altcoins. And that's just where I'm sitting right now, guys. MACD is about flat on the day here. Money flow is gonna be a negative 8.59. VWAP is gonna be at a positive three. So you can see the money flow trying its best to cut back up in here, but we're rolling over a little bit as well. So definitely want to keep an eye on that. So that's going to be Matic, guys. Let me know if you're here for that down low. Next one we're going to go for is Algo. So when taking a look at Algo, this one that I drew a trend line on before, apparently. Let's see. Okay, guys, I'm going to pull that off. We'll take a look at this. Okay, so still trading below our 50-week moving average, guys. That could act as overhead resistance coming down on top of us. That's at 44 cents right now. And right now, we're currently sitting at about 20 cents for algo. And guys, this is the reason why you don't want to hodl. You don't want to go through these big market cycles because typically for altcoins, we give back over 95% of them. So you really don't want to go through that, guys. You really want to work these trends the best you can. And you can just see from here, Algo is down 91, 92%. So if someone told you honestly, they would they would tell you, you don't want to hodl through that. Everyone goes diamond hands, diamond hands, but no one wants to sit through a 92% correction. That doesn't make sense. Like I talked about, guys, I learned my lesson in the first cycle of 2017 when I didn't sell at the top like I should have and rode a lot back down and just really learned that lesson. So right now, I would be careful, guys. I would be cautious till Bitcoin turns. Right now, we have no confirmed weekly uptrend right now. We could potentially look for support here at we would maybe go down to about that 14 cents or so guys maybe that could be a massive double bottom for us spanning years but you know we got to be cautious we got to be careful in this range so right now money flow see guys gonna be a negative 21 vwap's gonna be at a positive 4.5 but you can see the money flow has been pretty heavy down in this range here a lot of selling taking place macd is roughly about flat here nothing too interesting going on there for the macd so that's gonna be algo let me know if you're here for that then the last one we're going to get into here is Tezos. Okay, let's find a good one for us. Let's take a look at this here. So same concept, guys. Just look how much these market cycles can milk from you. I mean, from the high up here at almost $9 to where we're at now, this is a 90% loss to the downside. And now we're looking at 82 cents. So that's the importance of protecting your money and your capital in these cycles. You always want to be in an uptrend or have that wind at your back if you're trying to trade for the longer term for that big position trade, guys. So right now, if we do make a move to the upside, I would look at overhead resistance. Could potentially be tough at about 144. Could be a spot for us <clears throat> in terms of support. I would look for one more push down to about 39, 40 cents. So we still could be looking for some of these altcoin guys, a 40 or 50% drop to the downside. And we have to be protective of that. You can see here, we did get this death cross of our 50 week crossing down through our 200. So there's great opportunities coming up here. I like how the prices are getting low, but still remember prices can continue to go low. You know, guys say you got in right here at $3 from a high of $9 and you go, oh, that's a great deal. Take a look at how much you've lost since then. You've lost 72% since then. 
So it's really important to pick the right times to put your money into this market. And I would focus more on Bitcoin right now as opposed to the altcoins. And that's just me. If you get something from these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. God bless you all. Take care.